Welcome back to the Topic Blues, your source for all things Everton. I'm Josh and this is the 24-7 News Report. Our headline today is the unfortunate news that Everton have been found in breach of the Premier League profitability and sustainability rules for the three-year cycle to June 2023. Everton will now again be referred to an independent commission to make it the decision and the outcome of which could result in a points deduction or possible fine. Uh, but Everton are dedicated in uh, to fighting this case, and after the release of this news, Everton released their own statement outlining their acknowledgement of the Premier League uh, Premier League's decision and their disagreement with the decision and Premier League rules, as well as their intention to defend. Um, reports from the Independent say that Everton believe their imminent appeal uh, hearing will effectively render the new charges groundless. Uh, they have already argued. Uh, any overspend was due to loan repayment costs that were entirely incurred from the stadium development costs. Um, yeah, not not ideal news really um, for for Everton, obviously with with the the ten points deduction coming in and then these new uh, charges being brought forward and um, you know the possibility of, of that points deduction another points deduction hangs in the air really when. Um, when that comes to uh, to go go forward to the independent commission, it, it's it's a tricky one. I mean, Ever- Everton remains steadfast in the um, you know ability to uh, defend uh, themselves from this, and obviously they have no intention of taking a line down. Um, they they have outlined that they they disagree and they they believe that the. Um, you know, there's issues with the, the Premier League's rules here. Um, yeah, so uh, not a great, not a great way to start the week for for Everton, and, and hopefully this is something that the players can um, can put to one side going into the the next game, and hopefully it doesn't affect or shake any any confidence. Um, I'm sure Sean Dyche will will make um, make it clear that their job is to to play and hopefully not focus on. And what's going on around the club? But it, it it'll be tough for, for players to do that. Obviously, you, being in, involved with the club, you'll you'll hear this news, and inevitably it'll make you feel a certain way. Um, but hopefully, Sean Dash can can do his best to, to limit the damage this news will will have on the players. Um, and then we will have to just wait for this independent commission uh, to make a decision. Sky Sports News have reported that Everton are interested in Manchester City's Calvin Phillips. The England midfielder is available this window. City would prefer a sale, but a loan move hasn't been ruled out. Crystal Palace, Newcastle, West Ham and Juventus are all interested. Someone we've been interested in before. Obviously, I I can't see us going for the the sale option, but if we could opt for for a loan move and and push that one through, then I, I think Calvin Phillips would be a player a lot of um, Everton fans would jump to um, a, a player that we really could use w- within the squad and you never know obviously financially our situation is dire so um, even the possibility of a, a, a loan to buy would, would probably look a little too much for Everton at the moment but it would be a, a great opportunity and, and I would lo- I would like to see it personally a stadio Deportivo have claimed that Everton have set their sights on Brazilian attacker Louis Henrik, a player that I'm unfamiliar with. Um, I'm not sure how much whether we would be looking for a, a loan or a, a, a purchase on this this player again. The financial situation would really um, hinder us in any any purchasing, depending on on price, of course. Uh, one we might have to keep our eye on. Uh, Mail Sports have put out reports that Manchester United had scouts at Everton versus Aston Villa game on Sunday to watch Jared Branthwaite. This comes after reports in recent weeks of interest in the Everton defender. Uh, yeah, Manchester United have, um, if uh, reports are to be believed, um, interest in the defenders as well as quite a few other clubs. I mean, obviously Branthwaite has had quite a, a decent season for for Everton, so he he's got a lot of eyes on him at the minute a player that we hopefully won't be looking to sell just yet um, a, a key an integral part of our defence um, yeah but obviously a lot of eyes and scouts coming in from Manchester United at a player that, 
that they would would really want. Uh, finally, reports coming out of the Athletic say that Everton's potential new owners, 777 Partners, is facing another lawsuit after investors started legal proceedings against the Miami-based firm, citing damages of more than $30 million, which is around uh, £23.6 million. Pounds. I mean, the, the news for 777 Partners just keeps getting worse. I mean, at this point, there's... There's a lot of Evertonians who are, are against this um, this takeover bid. I mean, we're looking to get away from Farhad Mashiri, who has, who has really put us through the, the mire over his term. And for the, these guys to be the potential new, we obviously want to go from, you know, we, we want to step up and, and, and hopefully get some better owners in. But there's, there's nothing but negativity surrounding... Um, uh, the partners at the minute and they, they will have a if they do end up taking over Everton they will have a, a lot of work to do to really um, gain the, the faith uh, of the, the Everton fans because at the minute um, all the faith is, is really turning turning sour from, from all this this negative news and and you know with the, with their other clubs and these um, legal issues that they're having for damages I mean it's, it's just not a great way to start. Uh, but that's it for news. Let me know how you feel about all the um, all the things coming in. How do you feel about this this new um, possible uh, points deduction if the independent commission finds us um, finds that to be the the punishment? Uh, do you think that Calvin Phillips would be a great addition to uh, the Everton midfield? And how do you feel about um, the scouts attending the game to see Jared Branthwaite. Let me know in the comments. I've been Josh, the, the Toffee Blues. Thanks for watching. See you later.